Okay, hey YouTube fam. Thanks for joining in another installment of Crafting a Song for Licensing and Sync. I'm Sam Kanak. I'm here in Ear Witness Studios. I'm so excited that some of you have joined in on this little journey with me of like working and crafting and writing a song. Again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel below. You can go backwards and watch the videos before this. I have some interviews that I just did that I'd hope you tune into as well. Mike Avenaim was one of them, a drummer that just played on that song right there, just did a great job, knocked it out of the park. So check out the interview with Mike and have a couple interviews coming up, have a couple tutorials coming up, having a couple of gear reviews that are coming up. And so please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be a part of this stuff as it's going along. So I'll just catch you guys up to speed. If you watch the previous YouTube videos on this song, the story that we're going along here is that my wife, who it's been a couple years since she's really sat down and kind of completed a song uh, from start to finish writing wise. She's a singer. Um, she sings a lot locally here. She has quite a lot of people that follow her. She has some uh, videos on YouTube as well. And so she was inspired. She kind of got the bug for songwriting again. And this is one of the first things she's written in a while. And it's a great song with a great message. It's just a song she, I think really came from her heart to uh, young women, to women, I guess, in general, of being strong and being brave. I think my daughter was a big motivation for the video. So that's kind of a fun part of it to have such a great message. And thus comes in the husband and wife team, the duo here of working on the song together. And it's just been awesome. So she writes a song. This doesn't always happen this way for me here in the studio, Ear Witness Studios in Whittier. I get all kinds of things. Sometimes I co-write with someone. Sometimes I write with someone or they write and a different artist sings it or covers it. It happens a bunch of different ways. But for this song, my wife kind of came in here and just on the keyboard right here, sat down and kind of just laid out what she thought. This is kind of the foundation of the song. And again, you can go a couple of videos back and watch kind of the progression and how that started off. And if you followed on those videos, it kind of got to a point where I had built kind of a little bit of a rhythm bed and my wife's just one voice scratch for the song and her piano playing and some synth stuff that I kind of layered in there to start to kind of develop the feel that we were looking for. And then uh, the great part of the story is I shared this rough demo of the song with some different people and said, hey, would you be willing to jump in and be a part of this? And this is what I really wanna share in this video that I love about this. And it comes down to producing a type of song like this that is for licensing and sync. Again, if you watch my video with Mike Avenaim, who's a drummer who also writes a bunch of music for licensing and sync, we talked about your emotional investment, your attachment in this music, and kind of where you think it might go and kind of the process of that. And I really do think there's a little bit of a inner battle as an artist as to self-promoting what your music gets used for, uh, and, and these type of things. But again, I've talked on my Facebook page, I've talked in past YouTube videos that a, 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 a valuable, a, uh, a reliable sense of income now for many songwriters has become licensing and sync just due to the fact of the way the music industry has gone. So with that in mind and trying to take that as an aim and as a bullseye, I really wanted to take this song that you're hearing now 
and push it to the limits. What can we do with this song here that my wife has written? Started off with an idea, some lyrics, her voice, and a piano, and some loops, and now grown into something that you hear that started off this video. So how did it get to this point? Part of the music trick to all of this is collaboration, synergy. I love both of those, those words. It can be done a one-man band, but what I love about something like a project like this is that when you have something that's uh, a target that you're working towards, that you're daily working towards, you're putting these pieces together, it has a little bit of you, it has a little bit of of my wife's heart as she wrote this song, I feel like that kind of stuff as I share it and, and not being scared to share it, I feel like there was other musicians that heard what we started with. Now that's a trick in and of itself, kind of crafting a song, getting it ready for other musicians to listen to because they got to be able to hear what's there and jump on board. But once that started to click, I had sent it to Mike and I said, what do you think about adding some drums to this? And we started to work through that process. I sent it to a, a keyboard player, Vivian Lawrence. He kind of looked at my piano and my synth stuff and he just built upon that. He just took the vision and he made it better. And then also Aaron Bishop, great bass player, working on that rhythm. I, I played bass. <laughs> um, I've played bass on some people's stuff. I'm kind of like a guitar player on bass. But Aaron Bishop heard the song, he got it. He's a great recording bass player, put the perfect thing down. Uh, then finally, I, I, I took a leap of faith. I kind of just, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? When you, when you envision something and you're going for it, the worst thing can happen is that someone says no. And I sent the rough draft, kind of what I had to a very, very good session guitar player, Sean Tubbs, and kind of thinking, I'll throw it out there. You, you just don't know unless you ask. And Sean heard the song and he was kind enough to say, hey, I think I can add to this. And thus, the song is being kind of born in a very uh, collaborative way. Different people adding their talents to it. And you can hear even from the rough mix kind of what it's building to. And I got to the last stage and I thought, man, I have this great song and my wife's invested in it and I'm invested in it. And even though I mix, I do this here in the studio, I had a feeling like, what if I kept spreading the collaboration? What if I found another mixer that could wrap his ears, his ideas, his creativity to it? And Lucas Pimentel, I sent him a rough draft of the song. And again, it was just great. And I think this type of energy um, and synergy uh, is like a whirlpool. I think it can grow. And someone might ask, well, how did you get to that point where you can send it to these people? And for me, it I do have years under my belt. So that is true. But I think you could get to this point quickly by being out there, being visible, doing good work, working with uh, other talented people. It can start locally. It can start with just a few people that you're working with. And before you know it, people start recognizing oh, these people are working together, that person's working together. I mean, it comes down to this. I tell my students, I have a class of film students every day, and I tell them there's two people. They're sitting on the bench watching the game, and there's the people that get in the game. Yeah, sometimes there's a person that's sitting on the bench that's rooting, but you're still wearing that jersey, and maybe you get in for a few minutes, and you try your best, and you're working hard in practice. It comes down to this, is that being... In the end, you're going to be part of something bigger. And when this song comes out, there was a whole bunch of different people that can proudly say, I had a little piece of that song. And hopefully what this video series is about is that someone else in the licensing and sync market might hear the great message of this song, the great energy of this song, the great collaboration that's with all these different musicians and catch the same vibe. And hopefully that comes out in a way that someone is coming up with something that they're promoting or advertising or part of a TV show that needs that kind of positive energy and message. Whatever the case may be, that's what the goal is, is that as it's being recorded, then mixed, then mastered, it's going to be launched out there 
And hopefully the next wave of it will be getting to the listener's ears. So I will do more videos, hopefully coming up, kind of breaking down the process. I may start on a new song, might start from scratch again and YouTube video that its way through and you can join in on that. So that's it for this episode. Want to give you a sneak peek of where the song's at and kind of share with you the process and what the song has gone through, the, the collaboration, and just encourage you guys, be proactive, be out there, be working on stuff, share. It's hard. We all have that sense of, oh, I don't know what people are going to think of this. And keep creating, keep sharing. And hopefully your music's going to end up uh, on a TV show or a movie or a car commercial or whatever the case may be. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Sam Kanak, Ear Witness Studios. Please add my YouTube channel. Thanks.